Um, good morning, good afternoon, commissioners. Mandy Sackett with Surfrider. So here we are again. Someone wants to replace a reasonably sized 1,100 square foot house, this time in Cayucas, with a structure three times the size. And the applicant has maintained a Coastal Act violation for decades, an illegal retaining wall on the bluff, a fence and deck, and possibly cleared ESHA. Now the applicant refuses to remove the existing seawall before building their new home, refuses to factor sea level rise into the bluff top setback calculation, and refuses to be beholden to special conditions like no future repair of the existing seawall. All this despite the very clear mandate in the Coastal Act that new development shall not rely on shoreline armoring. If you do not deny this permit today, which you have every authority under the Coastal Act to do so, especially given the public trust principles that were reviewed yesterday, at least please improve the special conditions. First, staff geologists couldn't be more clear that a 35 to 40 foot setback in light of sea level rise is what's needed and the need for new development to not rely on this shoreline armoring. So we ask that you increase the required bluff top setback to 40 feet in accordance with the Coastal Act and our sea level rise guidance. And second, please retain special condition 4B as originally written in the staff report and reject the agenda. The reason staff originally recommended special condition 4B is because the existing seawall is built in such a way that it could not be removed. By prohibiting repairs, it would eventually erode away and thereby ensuring new development would not be relying on the shoreline armoring. A no future armoring clause really is meaningless when they already have a seawall that they're allowed to repair and maintain into perpetuity. So the staff agenda attempts to justify this change in 4B in part because the seawall is quite small, 40 feet in length. But we reject this logic, and I hope you all will today as well. It sets a really terrible precedent. Every 40 feet of beach space really does count, as um, many have said, and I think it's very clear in the Coastal Act that it's designed to save the coast parcel by parcel and permit by permit. Every single decision you make counts. So I really hope and please do stand up for the coast today. Every month we talk about saving our coastal resources, our beaches, our rapidly disappearing coastal habitats from rising seas, but our permitting practices still do not reflect that value, nor do they uphold the values and model policies set forth in our adaptation guidance. Commissioners, if you are not willing to change the pattern of residential development today, we are dooming the beaches to drown with rising seas. Thank you. Thank you.